Happy Halloween and good evening to Peter and any Plex server owner watching this. So I wanted to do a video for Peter to explain a couple things um, better. So Peter's having an issue with Plex search and Plex collections. He doesn't want to show um, items in a collection, but he doesn't want to hide items in a self-made collection. And he's also having a problem with search. His searches are okay on his client apps, but not okay at app.plex.tv or his direct IP address. I'm not sure which one he's using. Um, if the problems are with the direct IP address, I would suggest updating Plex server, make sure it's the latest stable version. If it's a problem at app.plex.tv, I would suggest using a different web browser. Maybe there's an issue with Microsoft Edge and not with Chrome or vice versa, or with Firefox or with Vivaldi, I'm not sure. But what I would do is, I would make sure there's no search issues on his desktop or his laptop by doing this. Just search for Plex downloads. That'll take you here. Click onto the Plex Media server and into the apps and devices, and then choose your OS. There's a Plex for Linux, which is a replacement for app.plex.tv, and there's the Pure HTPC client app. No server maintenance here, all kinds of server maintenance here. So let's assume that Peter is using Windows. Again, I would download and install both these. And this way you can open up the HTPC client app to verify that this is another client that does not have search issues. And then you can open up the Plex for Windows or Plex for Linux or Plex for Mac app, sign into it and check search there. My assumption is if search is fine on the HTPC client app on your desktop or laptop, it'll be fine here. And the issue, the issue on the um, browser may be browser specific. And you can double check that with a different, different browser install. And again, this is, assumes you're using the latest stable version of Plex server. All right, so let's get out of that and let's concentrate on the collection issue. So, what I don't know is how many automatic collections Peter has versus how many self-made ones. But, if he has self-made collections, he's a man after my own heart, I have a lot of them. So let's assume that you're going to let Plex make collections um, for anything, two movies or more, and that you want to hide anything in your library that's in a regular automatic collection. Like I've got some Oscar movies in an Oscar collection, but I wouldn't want to hide those because I'd want people to see them because they might not know they're in an Oscar collection um, when they search for them. Um, so let's, let's go to the general global settings of the library. Let's click the advanced. So this is where I've changed my minimal automatic collection size to two. So if, say I'm ripping the Back to the Future trilogy um, because I've got it on Blu-ray, I'll add the first movie, no collection is made. When I add the second movie, because of this setting, the collection will be made, and then when I add the third movie, it'll just be automatically added to the collection. So this is really unrelated to what we want to talk about. What you want to do is slide all the way down to the bottom, and this is the setting to change. And I'd recommend um, changing this to hide items which are in collections. Now if you had only a few automatic collections, which basically means they're going to get created and you're going to delete them and only keep the ones you want. That's kind of backwards, but if that's what you have, I would leave this alone um, and I'll show you what to do in the next step. 
but if you if you have just as many automatic collections or you got more of them than you do self-made ones change this feature to hide items which are in collections and I know it's going to hide items in a self-made collection but we're going to manually fix that so we've just made that change let's let's pretend we made that change and we go back to our movie library and let me go to um, a self-made collection that oh, am I in collection mode I'm blind for a second where am I I'll go to Albert's favorites now you'd want to show these movies you wouldn't want to hide them because this is just an odd collection right so while you're in the collection edit it go to advanced and then you have a collection mode option so I've just hidden all items that are in a collection globally now I'm going to reverse that just for this collection by showing them it's a lot of manual work if you've got a bunch of self-made collections but how many could you have do you have a hundred do you have 20 do you have 50 it won't take that long to do it and this way whenever you create a new collection you're going to end up with a collection that has no artwork to it so you're going to have to go in and edit it to add a poster add a background maybe add a special description and it's not that much more of a workflow to click here and change this setting so that's my advice but if you wanted to do it opposite you can let your collection show globally and then you could come back in and then you could hide items for those automatic collections but that's that's the harder workflow in my opinion but somebody could have a server set up that way where they have a ton of self-made collections and only a few automatic ones because they've set a limit of three or something for a collection creation but either way it solves the issue self-made collections their items will appear in your library and automatic collections won't and that'll that'll clean your library up now I don't hide anything that's in a collection um, I have a lot of collections because my friends and family prefer searching my library that way I get compliments on some of my um, fun more fun collections um, so I don't know it's just just it's my workflow in the way I like it so anyway hopefully this is informative and um, again Peter if you want help with a program like FileBot you'll never use fix match again Happy Halloween and happy plexing to all.